Hey guys, Ed here. And today we're going to be talking about Star Wars. Star Wars, one of my most favorite movie franchises. As we know, George Lucas is the director and creator of the Star Wars universe. And I've looked around, making sure I wasn't the only person that had this theory. Um, I haven't seen anybody who has the same theory. I, I, I mean, I even searched it up word for word. No one, no one has, no one has this theory. So, I guess I'm going to be the one putting it out there. I'm not saying I'm the first to think of this, but I, I certainly haven't seen it online or in any discussions. But I think George Lucas is from the Star Wars universe. I think he's from the galaxy. And it wouldn't really surprise me if he is considering, I think they have the, I think their galaxy is the same type of galaxy as us. And uh, a big portion of their galaxy is unexplored. So, in theory, we could actually be in the part of the galaxy that is unexplored. George Lucas could, could have been an outcast, an outlaw, or someone, or an explorer. And he found this planet, realized that the rest of the... Uh, the galaxy has not discovered this planet and realized that he was safe here. Or maybe uh, at some point he realized he could capitalize off of a real events and turn into a movie here because we wouldn't be any wiser to do it. But I caught you. I've, I've caught on, Mr. Lucas. You're not going anywhere. You're not fooling anyone. You haven't fooled me. I know you're from the Star Wars galaxy. More from running out of gas. So right now, I'm not filling up the tank, running it empty, because I'm painting the tank because it's all screwed up on the side. So wait, I'm trying to deplete the fuel. So I'm trying to burn all the fuel in it. And I'm trying to get to the point where I can uh, do reserves. That's kind of why I'm actually taking this way home. But I'm trying to burn off the fuel as much as I can, so when I take this off, it doesn't really get everywhere, but, you know, trying to minimize the, the damage. But, you know, back to the George Lucas thing. It, it, it makes complete sense. He came here, capitalized off it, and you know what I think is funny? Or, you, know, you know what I think would be funny? Is if, like, whoever's in charge now finds this planet and then sees our movies and goes, what the fuck? Well, how do you guys know about this shit? And then they realize that it is George Lucas who has capitalized off real events. What would make it even more fucking funny is if like, you know, like some like stormtroopers or stormtroopers of some sort come here and they see all these, see all this armor and they're like, what the fuck? Some nerd comes out of his house. What up, guys? I've always wanted to join you. And then he just, you know, gets fucking blasted to hell. And then he just drops down like the fat little chode he is. Not everyone who likes Star Wars is a fat fucking chode. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like Star Wars. I'm not a chode. I am fucking fat. But, that being said, it just happens, it so happens to be that it's a fat chode that gets killed by these stormtroopers. And then, but then it turns out, you know, like, everybody fucking loves stormtroopers. So when the stormtroopers get here, they're gonna be like, whoa, what the fuck, people are obsessed with this. And everyone's gonna be like, ah, oh, 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 oh. like, oh, I'm a fucking stormtrooper. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that shit's gonna happen, mark my fucking words. So either George Lucas crashed here, in a ship, or he flew here and somewhere in the fucking desert of the United States there is a spaceship inside a fucking like one of those like renter garages and it's just sitting in there mark my words George Lucas you've been found you've been caught you've been you've been you've been you have been stuck Think you're gonna get away now? No, we know you're fucking. We know you're bull. I found you out. 
You ain't getting away, big boy. You ain't getting away, big boy. You ain't getting away, big man. Is that guy pulling out or is he just chilling? Oh, my man's just chilling, all right. I don't even think anybody's in there. Oh, it's for sale. It's chilling and for sale. When are we gonna stop the slavery of cars? They need to be able to make their own decisions the, and who wants to voluntarily have drive them. Oh shit, that means my bike probably won't be riding it. Man, I treat this bike with so much love and respect. Insert clip of me crashing. Except they don't have it because I didn't have a camera at the time. No, I fucking love this bike. I, 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 that's why I'm, that's why I'm getting repainted, looking purdy. Got to make sure the bike is all purdy and nice looking. Interesting. Pass me because I'm slow. What the fuck? What kind of mindset is that? I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. Come on, I'm joking. So yeah, pretty much up until today, it's actually been like a week and a half since I last rode. And it's actually, not riding has actually been kind of refreshing in its own way. This shit I have in my backpack is throwing off my balance. Like, my back feels weird as fuck. But you know, I haven't rode in like a week and it, 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 it kind of feels refreshing. Like, uh, yeah, I definitely feel way more loose and less dense riding now than a week ago. And it's been really nice to clear my mind of, of some of the shit that's been going on. So I'm not gonna lie, you know, after my crash, I, those are my favorite fucking trucks, especially those models. I also like the Ford F-250s, but, um, yeah, like, after I crashed, you know, I always kind of had a low-key mindset that I'm, uh, you know, just overthinking shit while I'm riding, overthinking brakes, and it's, I'm not overthinking that shit anymore because, because I know, I know what my bike is capable of, and it, and it's like, you gotta trust your bike, you gotta, you gotta trust and rely that your bike knows what it's doing, and it does know what it's doing. You know, like most of the time, it's it's, it's a rider error. Or, okay, well, other people's in cars, but then you know, then there's rider error. Most of the time, the bike is uh, is uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. She didn't look at me. I'm not, I'm not worthy of her, of her attention. Bikers shouldn't really be that hard to miss anyway. Like, all you have to do is fucking look. I don't know if it's because I'm riding. It's kind of funny because after you get a motorcycle, you get fucking motorcyclized, dude. Like, you can see a motorcycle from a mile away. But yeah, you know, I'm also planning on taking, you know, the advanced course. To you know, like learn even more skill sets, cause you know I need I need I need some extra you know tips tips and tricks. But the guy, my instructor, was pretty interesting. So, uh, he was he was kind of hard on me for good reasons, cause I showed up like super freaking late to the freaking like program, and I held everybody up, and he was not happy with me whatsoever. I don't really blame him. But that was an interesting experience. But I definitely can't wait to go back, cause he was a cool guy. And I hope his, uh, I hope it would be his, him and his son. Cause there were riots. His son was a fucking riot. California. I bet she doesn't like, I bet she enjoys not being lane splitted by bikes. Which she probably came here and went, fuck, there's bikes here too. Dude, I've met people with that fucking mindset. Or they're like just straight up like fuck bikers. Before I even start riding and after I start riding, and they actually don't know that I'm a fucking biker. Like we'll just start talking about motorcycles randomly. 
And then I'm like, yeah, um, just so happens that I happened to ride a motorcycle and that's what I actually rode here. That's how we're talking. It's like, because a bike, that's how I got here, asshole. Like amazes me like some people are like so like heavy set on just being like fuck bikers like like what the fuck but I understand there's asshole bikers out there but like like fuck everybody it's kind of like you know throwing poop at the wall and watching a stick and then doing the little happy dance it's like what the fuck all right guys that's the video for today hope you guys enjoyed it I'm not gonna tell you guys to subscribe because I'm not fucking gay uh but. If you guys do do anything after this, uh, you know, kiss your monitor right before you turn it off every night. You know, you need to do that so, so it lasts longer, so it doesn't want to give up on you easily.